Okay, so I had a uh, I did a blog post earlier today on uh, updates to org.openntf.domino, and Frank van der Linden asked a very valid question about how to actually um, implement the uh, the jar file and the XSP so that it works in X pages. So I'm just going to run through the steps uh, to do that here. So um, here I'm in uh, the demo database that I've set up, and you can see that if I open uh, the the uh, date time bean, uh, which is using the org.openntf.domino, then you can see that we're getting uh, loads of errors in there. So for both um, designer and for uh, the server, there are two steps. Um, the first um, is to use, uh, we need to implement the jar itself uh, and make that available. Um, so I'm just going to copy um, a backup copy of the jar that I've got um, and in order for it to work in uh, designer uh, we need to provision that so uh, we go to our notes install go to JVM lib ext and paste it in there um, and uh, I'm not sure if this will work straight away but let's just try a build on that. Uh, no, that's that's not picking up yet. Um, the other step for it to actually work in um, uh, server-side JavaScript um, and in XPages itself uh, is just to go to File, Application, Install um, and if I search for new features to install um, then we've got this update site. Um, so uh, if I just remove that and add that in again. So it's uh, here I've just got the folder location. Um, so uh, if I go to uh, pull temp and uh, navigate to org.openntf.domino uh, dot update, um, then that's got the features and plugins and the update folder actually has the uh, update site, sorry, the site.xml uh, that's the actual update site document. Uh, so I pull that in, finish, and it prompts me for the features to install. Uh, so I then accept the terms in the license and install that plugin. Yes, I've told you twice that I do want to install the plugin, so please do it and then restart. And that then restarts so we can open up notes. And when notes is loaded then we can go to designer and uh, hopefully that uh, plugin should be working now. Just wait a moment while notes uh, loads up. I've been doing quite a few restarts, so maybe that's affected this, the time. So in designer, if I open up that database, it looks as if we've still got some errors there at the moment, but hopefully when I build, and it's cleared all those errors. Um, so that's that's the steps to implement it in um, in uh, Domino Designer, and you can see if I go to date time underscore equals, for example, um, and go to the server side JavaScript, run SSJS tests, uh, then we. I've got date one 
cast as an org.openntf.domino.datetime and we've now got all of the existing methods plus we've got new ones like equals ignore date equals ignore time uh, is before is after is any date is any time um, so and uh, we should have should have equals there somewhere but um, yeah we've got all of the uh, various methods there um, so the next step is to deploy it to the server um, and that's not surprisingly the same two kind of steps of adding the uh, the um, jar itself to the server so and it's the same location JVM lib ext but on the domino server now so we paste that into there and then import the update site into an update site database so we just point that to the same local update site uh, so there we are um, just um, before you do import into an update site just make sure that um, you haven't imported into Domino Designer um, or if you have that you've restarted because otherwise you'll get an object variable not set message um, which is just because it's tried to import into designer um, and uh, you haven't restarted the game so um, if if you get that uh, object variable not set um, message just close down notes reopen go back into the update site and it will import in fine um, as with any changes to the update site uh, just do a restart task HTTP um, you need to do that one rather than the uh, uh, reload HTTP or whatever the other one is uh, this one actually closes down the JVM properly and restarts it and uh, you should also get some uh, hopefully we'll see some uh, no we don't see the the messages there but as soon as we load um, a page so I'll load the home page for example and I'll just bring up the server and just log in uh, then you can see that it's registering all of those objects um, we haven't got the xsp.property to tell it that it's global so uh, we've got the message org.openntf.domino.xsp uh, global colon false um, and uh, we can now go in and uh, hopefully we can run the server-side javascript tests we can run the java tests uh, we can go to the Java comparator on uh, some of the individual pages like as before and see uh, the differences between the old and the new code uh, lots of lots of uh, red which is good that stuff that lines of code that aren't needed not much green so uh, that's the stuff that's added and we can open up and compare uh, the two side by side there uh, and as you can see, the, the new code is quite a bit shorter.